What's up everybody? Austin Froberg back again from Say What? Barstool Parlay. As always, Raw takes no apologies. Another dumb fact check of the day video here. And this one's a doozy. So, this is the stupidest thing that I've heard this year. So, I'm going through Facebook and stuff last night. I didn't get a chance to do this last night. And I'm on one of my Facebook friends' page, and somehow this whole, like, racial debate breaks out. All right. So this guy comments. And in the comments, is just like, oh, it doesn't matter. Freaking, they're all Trump supporters and conservatives, and 98% of all conservatives are racist. Ninety-eight percent of all conservatives are white racists. Okay. There's so there's so much wrong with this. Uh, and just to give you guys a little background of uh, the intelligence level we're dealing with here, this guy said ninety-eight percent are white racists that are conservative, and the others are just stupid. This guy couldn't even do the math to a hundred. He said, the, uh, the others are just stupid. The math is two. The individual whose intellect we are calling into question, in case you guys want to think that he has any credibility here, can't count to two. But anyway, there's so much wrong with this. First off, um, well, 98% uh, of the Republican Party isn't even white. That doesn't even make sense. It, the Republican Party is not 98% white. It's like 60, 65% white. So this guy, in reality, because he obviously doesn't understand anything or know any actual figures, he's just throwing out something to sound good because he wants to cry racism. So essentially what he's saying is out of the 60 to 65% that are white, it doesn't matter what you believe. You could be Republican and for whatever reason, support BLM or, you know, whatever. Maybe you're married to a black girl, but you're conservative. You're racist. You're racist. Yeah. My buddy, uh, and it's perfect. Yeah. My buddy, Dakota, Dakota Wiefenbach, um, he actually shared one of, one of these videos on his page, gave me a shout out. Uh, he's dating, probably going to marry a black girl. Super nice, awesome girl. According to this guy, he would be a racist. <laughs> like, this guy is so freaking dumb. But beyond that, so all the white guys are racist, no matter your beliefs, anything else. You're automatically racist. And the other side of it is, well, the other 40 to 45% that we're talking about that are minorities, which include black people and Hispanics and Asians and all the rest of the, the races, are also racist. So not only are the white people racist, but the minorities are racist against themselves. I don't, I don't, that doesn't, Wow, dude. Wow. Now, the back half of this that I want to talk about, let's dig into this a little deeper. Now that we've established that that is your fun fact check, stupid check of the day, let's get into this a little bit further. I'm so tired of hearing the uh, Trump supporters and Trump is racist. Okay. Give me one racist Trump policy. Just one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got one. I got one. You guys must be talking about how he gave the largest federal grants in history to black colleges. Oh, wait. No, that no, that would be for minorities. That no, that's not it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got one. I got one. I got one. All right. You guys are talking about when we had the lowest minority unemployment unemployment rate in the history of the country. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, no. That wouldn't be one either. Oh, oh, I got one. I got one. You guys are talking about how we've had the smallest wage gap between whites and minorities in U.S. history. He closed the wage gap. No, 
Oh, damn it. That's not, no, that's not one either. Oh, 10 million off of welfare. Oh, no, that's not one either. Damn it. Um, exactly. There are none. You can't find one. All right. Now, the other side of this is I just got a brain. I light bulb, guys. I know what you're talking about. You guys messed up. I it was a typo. You got confused about which candidate was which. Now I understand. Okay, so he must have just got the candidates confused. He must have been talking about Joe Biden, who voted for segregation in schools. Yeah, that's it. That's one. Um, oh, he must be talking about Joe Biden, who wrote and sponsored the most damaging bill ever passed on minority communities, which was stop and frisk. The one singular thing that all minority leaders say have devastated the black community more than anything in history since slavery, the stop and frisk law. Yeah, which Joe, by the way, said was the greatest piece of American legislation in history. What minorities claim is the most damaging thing in the history of the United States to minorities since slavery, Joe said was the greatest piece of legislation we've ever written. After 20 years prior voting for segregation in schools because he said, and I quote, I don't want my kids going to school in a racial jungle. And, oh, I forgot. Don't, go, don't even think about forgetting the, oh, you ain't black unless you vote for me. Now your race isn't even, you, you, you're, you don't even own your race. Your race is only allowed to be given to you by Joe Biden. Joe Biden is the one who decides if you're black or not. It's not your heritage. It's not your culture. It's not your skin color. Joe Biden just decides who gets to call themselves black and who doesn't. Who gets to be proud of their heritage and who doesn't? I got it. He must have got the he must have got the uh, the candidates confused. He must have forgot which name goes with which picture. I got it now. Now it makes sense. Oh, it's got a bigger. You know what? Maybe he didn't. I just got a bigger. I just got a bigger light bulb. The math makes sense now, guys. The math makes sense now. The 98%, it makes sense now because you ain't black unless you vote for Joe Biden. So all those minorities that voted for Trump or all those minorities that are conservative, they're not black. They're all white, according to Biden. Oh, got it. That's what, so 98% white. I got it because all of them are now de facto white people. Okay, got it. We're using the Joe Biden math and the Joe Biden logic. Okay, now, now, okay, now I understand, guys. Now it makes sense. Are you freaking kidding me? How dumb is that comment? How, how stupid is that comment? 98% of conservatives are all racist. The math doesn't make sense. The comment doesn't make sense. And the fact that anybody wants to try to accuse Trump of being racist doesn't make sense. So, once again, guys, there's your stupid fact of the fact, fact, stupid fact. I can't even talk, guys. Wow. Stupid fact, fact, stupid fact check of the day. Wow. That was a tough one to get out. Talk about a brain fart. I might just had a bigger brain fart than this guy. No, I'm just kidding. That's not possible. So there's your stupid fact check of the day. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you guys haven't checked out all our actual content videos on the channel, check them out. They're really cool. Like, subscribe, and share content. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in. Peace out. Deuces.